I'm Brianna Browning, and I'm bringing you this week's edition of Athlete of the Week. I'm here with Kane's linebacker, Denzel Perryman. How are you doing today, Denzel? I'm good, and you? I'm great, and I'm glad you came here with us. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> so it's week 11 of college football, and it's your senior year. So as you bring your senior year to a close, what would you say is one of the greatest accomplishments that you've had as an athlete? I mean, just uh, being able to come here and uh, start, like, since, like, my freshman year up to down to this point, and, you know, being listed as one of the, you know, the great linebackers to come through here. That's good. And I know you're local. You went to Coral Gables Senior High. So what did it mean to you to play football at the University of Miami? And what was your motivation for coming here? It meant a lot because I know uh, I have a lot of, you know, guys I played with, you know, in high school, you know, who love to be here and love to play here. And, uh, you know, we had guys, you know, come from Coral Gables like Frank Gore, Jonathan Vilma, Dallas Sharpton. And I didn't want to break that uh, tradition, so I just carried it over. That's nice. So since you've been here the past four years, if you could change one thing about any of your experiences here, what would it be? Nothing at all. I mean, yeah. I don't regret nothing. That's nice. Nothing at all? No. Nah. Okay, that's good. So what's a common misconception that you would say people have about you is? I really don't know. I ignore the noise like Coach Golden tell us. You ignore the noise, so you just do you. Yeah. Don't worry about anything. Every day. So what do you think um, is a song that describes your work ethic? I would say uh, Young Jeezy, uh, Put On, uh, for my city. Um, yeah, see, you're you trying to get me to sing up here, and I'm not a big singer. Okay. But uh, he just said, you know, I put on for my city, and I mean, I feel that's what I do. Okay. I feel you. So, outside of football, what is the most important thing in your life? Taking care of my love, my little one. That's, how old is she? She's great. She'll be one years old, November 12th. Oh, so her birthday's coming up. Wednesday. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's she's a beautiful little girl. I'm sure you get that a lot. Yeah, she get good looks from me. From you? Yeah. Okay. What's what's the best compliment you think anyone has ever given you? Uh, that she's beautiful and then I'm going to have a lot of problems in the future. You're going Oh, oh. Okay. I don't think so. You don't why not? Uh, I don't think so. Why I would not? not say. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. So, if you could be anyone else for a day, for one day, who would it be? I would say the president, but I take that back. I just want to be myself. I don't have to be nobody. What? Okay, so if you wanted to be the president for a day, why would you want to? So you just run the country. So what would you do if you could run the country for a day? I don't know. I'd probably try to fly around every state, just do what I want to do. <laughs> shut down a place and just go have fun like a little kid. That's fun, though. Who would you take with you? If you shut down, like, if you shut down a whole state or like an amusement park, who would you take with you to have fun for the day? I, you know, I'd take some of my teammates. I'd take my daughter, maybe a, a little family. That's about it. Okay. Well, I know you know the phrase, you learn something new every day, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me something that you learned today. To set an alarm, because I was actually late to class today, and I had to go take a test, and uh, to be properly dressed for, you know, something like this. For interviews? Yeah. I mean, you're, you're kind of fine. Maybe next time you can be properly dressed. No, I'm actually dressed like an athlete for... You, okay, it's athlete of the week. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, got to okay. keep professional. So what's one of the toughest decisions that you had to make in the past several months? Toughest decision. Uh, I would say toughest decision, toughest decision. Not like going out or something like that on a bye week. Not going out or going yeah, out? Not going out. No, but oh, some guys. So you chose yeah, not to yeah, go out. Oh, you're not going was, out this weekend or nothing? Nah, not okay, at all. Okay, just focus and stay in focus. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for coming so much. That's all the time we have today. So I'm going to throw it back to you guys at the desk. <laughs>